Hey, this is Philip with G6 Technology Services. In this video, we're just going to be taking a quick look at some new to me Cisco IP phones. So let's see what we've got. So these are all the same model, and uh, I'll give you a quick preview. What they are is this the uh, Cisco uh, 7975G. It's got this nice uh, color touch screen. So that's good. And uh, I was able to get this working with uh, free PBX and Chan SCCP because they do ship with the SCCP firmware. And uh, you can find the uh, SIP firmware online, but uh, I try to avoid those sketchy downloads from places I don't trust and I don't have a support agreement to get it through Cisco. So anyway, I, I did try it, but it actually ends up working better in SCCP mode. There were just some weird little glitches with the SIP firmware. So anyway. Let's uh, break into one of these boxes and see what we've got. All right, so these are uh, purchased from Amazon. They're certified Amazon renewed, so they're used, but uh, you get a, a new handset cord, new ethernet cable. You get a handset, which, I mean, honestly, it, if I didn't know this was renewed, I would think it was new. They all look very good and they got into all the little cracks and got all the gunk out, if there ever was any. I can't really find any trace that these were ever used. And then we have our phone, which again, there's maybe like slight, slight little wear signs, but it looks pretty much brand new. It's a little scuff, but yeah, very impressed with the quality of these. Um, I've already gotten a few, and they power right up. There's no problem. All the functionality is there, and they're really cheap. I picked these up on Amazon for less than $25 a piece, and it's a, uh, a full color touchscreen, eight line keys, um, gigabit networking, gigabit pass-through port. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, they're just, it's such a good deal. So, why did I get these? Well, not really too much of a reason other than just because I like phones and they're cool. So, and again, if I didn't mention earlier, this is uh, just kind of like a show and tell. This is not designed to be a, a tutorial to get these working. So we'll go ahead and connect our handset cable. So we plug the, uh, there's two ends, there's a longer end and a, a short end. So we'll go ahead and plug our short end into the handset. Let's put that off to the side. And then plug our long end into the phone. And they give us a Ethernet cable. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned, but there also is uh, this adjustable stand. So you just push this uh, this button in on the side, and then your stand has this nice wide range of motion. If you close it all the way up, it has these holes on the back, uh, these keyholes for you to mount it on a wall. So we'll go ahead and put that back. And there we go. All ready to go. So I'm going to get the other ones all set up and uh, we'll get these provisioned in free PBX and uh, we'll watch the initial boot up process. Alright, got these new phones provisioned, so I'm going to go ahead and plug them into my PoE switch here and we'll watch them all boot up.
All right, so looks like two of them registered and everything, and they're good to go, except I forgot to change the uh, background image, so I'm gonna do that here in a minute. And one of them won't register, so I just had to delete that one. I'm in the process of rebuilding it. All right, so yep, now we have our background. And this one, the device name is too long, and it's alternating between the time and the extension. So uh, I'm gonna change that because I don't like it to do that. And this other one, uh, I did change, but I think it's going to have to end up rebooting before it, or I rebuilt it because it wasn't working. So I deleted that device out of SCCP Manager and added it back in again. So let's see if it works this time. I'm going to change the device name on this other one. All right, and that one's updated, so... We're good to go there. So I don't know what's going on with that one. Let me uh, do a little bit of digging and see if I can get it to work. Alright, well I figured out what the problem was. So the, uh, the MAC address that's on the label on the back of this phone doesn't match the one that's actually associated with the network port on the phone. So I'm guessing that the, uh, the refurbishers put a, uh, a motherboard from a phone that was good but the case was trashed into the case of a phone where the motherboard didn't work and so the sticker on the back they like didn't move it over so that's why it wasn't registering because it had the wrong MAC address so corrected that and uh, all is good it uh, registered and pulled all of the uh, custom settings and everything so let's go ahead and test some of these out and do a few test calls and see what happens Alright, so a couple of these have shortcut keys to call each other, so... Yep, yeah, that's working. Yeah. Hello. Let's see, we have our... hold music. Let's do a ring group call. Hmm. So for some reason, oh, I don't think I added that other phone to the group, so let me go and do that real quick because we have our one that's not ringing. Alright, so I added that one to the group, so let's try this again. Okay, now they're all ringing. Perfect. And then uh, we tested out already the quick dial button, or the monitor button. Hello, hello. And then it works the other way. Oops. Hello. That works. And then, let's see. And then we have our monitor, so it lets you know who's calling that other, that other line. Hello. See, can you pick up from... No. I'll see if it did call pick up. Hello. Alright. And we got our... Hold music test button. Okay. Looks like everything's pretty much set up. Um, so again, these things are full color touch screens. So if you bring up the menu, 
you can actually press any one of these just with your finger and it just does that. You can tap anywhere on the screen any of these little buttons. So that's pretty cool. These were top of the line back in whenever 2008 whenever they were new and unfortunately they're discontinued now and been replaced with other things but I really appreciate just the classic look of these. I don't particularly care for the new ones. I, and that's ac across all the vendors. Um, they just seem like they don't have as much character as the older phones. So anyway, that was just a, uh, a quick little uh, show and tell basically uh, that we're able to get these phones working on uh, free PBX with Chan SCCP and SCCP Manager. Um, they do interoperate with SIP phones that are on the same network. Um, so, like this one over here. So, this extension on the other desk is a SIP phone, and it's working just fine. Um, let's see, we can do an outbound call. For choosing Dow. Your call may be recorded for quality. Okay, outbound calling works. Um, these don't have voicemail because of the positions they're going to be in. If they're not answered, they all go to a central mailbox in another place. Um, I don't know what else to. Uh, oh yeah, we have our our parking. So let's let's try that out real quick. So we have let's call that phone. Okay, we'll answer, mute, just so we don't have a lot of feedback here. And then more Seven, park. Zero, one. So hit more and then park. And then now we have our other phone here on hold, playing hold music. And we can see our parking light is lit up. Yeah, we have our, our park over here that's lit up, that there's a call parked, so we can go ahead and answer it. And now our call is connected. So the parking works, which is good. So anyway, that is just, a, again, a quick show and tell of the Cisco IP Phone 7975G. Uh, that uh, shipped from Amazon uh, renewed $24 and something a piece with the SECP firmware working on FreePBX. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little video, and uh, we'll see you next time.